interior designer Liz Khan. Welcome to my home. Come on in. It's a classic Georgian colonial and it's very symmetrical. One of the things I wanted to do was be very conscientious of how classic and rich it is on the outside and then switch things up a little bit on the inside. When I'm designing for myself, I'm much more experimental. And when I design for clients, it's always filtered through parameters around sort of what we're trying to create and the feeling that we're trying to evoke and the functionality of the home that we're creating. I wanted you to walk in and have a traditional framework for the home, but I wanted it to be a little bit more unexpected. This room is my cabinet of curiosities. I wanted this room to be inviting. I wanted people to walk in and sort of be intrigued by all the things that are happening in this room. There's a lot of pattern, there's a lot of color, there's a lot of texture, but we also didn't have um, a butler's pantry in this house, and I think we always wanted one, so we were like, let's just make the secretary the bar, and it serves us well. It has a desk that my husband's grandfather used to use. It used to be um, mahogany, but we had it like stained a matte black, and so it feels very current. From a design perspective, I wanted this room to be approachable, interesting, layered, and a little unexpected. I wanted the dining room of this house to be dark and kind of moody, but happy. One of the things was to kind of unify all of the molding. So painting it this deep gray, it made it feel a little bit more modern. And it also cleaned up all the edges of the room so that I was able to add all the furnishings I wanted to add. The family room started as a sunroom. It just didn't really feel very cozy for a family room. I did everything from the crown molding to the floor in this deep teal and it made the room feel unified. The ceiling was white and it just wasn't really working so we decided to wallpaper it and lower the ceiling. It's kind of a room that's used a lot by everybody. This kitchen presented several design challenges. We inherited this kitchen when we purchased the house. I was not able to completely renovate and start over in this kitchen, so I decided to paint this floor yellow um, because it was originally a honey pine floor and I didn't like the tonality of the floor. So instead of refinishing or replacing the floor, it was much easier to paint it. So it's bright, cheery, and very yellow. Another thing that I really like to do in a kitchen is to elevate the room um, with real art. So I hung an oil painting by one of my favorite artists over the banquet area. My vision for this bedroom was to create a cozy, classic, and traditional room that felt like a cocoon. I chose to use the damask on the wallpaper and the curtains so that it unifies the room and makes it feel a bit cozier. Some of the challenges with decorating an older home is sheer square footage. For instance, in the master bathroom, it's a very tiny bathroom, and somehow I had to fit in a shower a toilet and a vanity for two people to share, including storage. So we had to get very creative. Um, we used double medicine cabinets, an in-wall toilet that could fit in a two by four stud wall. We were able to do a curbless shower and just use a blade of glass and forego the door to get into the shower. It's important to keep several things in mind when designing your children's rooms. One is the level of youthfulness that you put into the room, utilizing patterns and colors that will grow with your child. One of the tricks that I like to use is I like to collect art for my children and it's real art and it's art that they can take with them when they grow. This home has evolved significantly over the last 16 years, but it's worth it to me to have um, a home that's perfectly imperfect.